Hey guys, welcome back to episode three of Evie's Fashion Flip. I'm so excited for this episode. If you guys haven't already seen episode two, make sure you check that out right now. And also episode one, I'll leave all the links down below. And also I've created a playlist and you can click the I right now. But if you have watched episode two, welcome back. This is episode three. There's gonna be so much fun stuff happening in this episode. I have a new section. We're gonna be going back and looking at Francesca's outfits and talking to her about if she likes them and everything like that. And then also we're gonna be styling a brand new person, which I literally cannot wait for so there's loads of fun stuff to be looking forward to in this episode and i really hope you guys enjoy if you do make sure to smash a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and turn on post notifications by clicking the bell and also follow me on my instagram and my tiktok and without further ado i think we should get straight into this episode so like i said in episode two we met francesca we chatted about her style we looked at her fashion flop and then i styled three outfits for her and sent them off and they arrived and i'm going to include a video of her unboxing the package now so my parcel came from evie with a fashion flip so we've got this top oh this this is cute basic little blue t-shirt to go with the blue trousers but, oh, this is really cute. I actually love this. Little skirt, where it's got like butterflies and flowers on. Let's go with the green silk top. And then, oh, oh. These little butterfly earrings. Really cute. I'm so glad she loves all the individual pieces. And now we're gonna look at the video she sent me when she's actually tried the outfits on. So let's have a look. Okay, okay, so the first outfit was the yellow cardigan and I told her to wear it with these blue jeans and then she has a little white crop top underneath, some jewellery and the white trainers. I love this, it's super simple. I feel like you could really switch this up by like undoing the cardigan and wearing her hair up. There's so many different ways you could like switch this up. Yellow is definitely her colour, that looks insane on her. Um, and the second outfit was the blue one. For this one, I was like, we're just gonna go all out, monochromatic blue look, and she pulls it off so well. So I sent her that little blue crop top from PLT, and then she's wearing the blue trousers, which initially she was having trouble styling. And then she's added these high top shoes, which have a blue tick on them as well. And that just looks so, so good with the outfit. I absolutely love it. And I think she's wearing the butterfly earrings that I sent her as well. I love this, it looks so good. And then finally, the third outfit. She was having trouble styling the green top and I sent her this butterfly skirt and I feel like this works so well together. So the skirt I chose has kind of green accents in it which tie in perfectly with the silk top and I just love it. It's super classy and you can wear this on like a night out or to a party or something. And she's even paired it with a little pearl necklace and then I think she also has the butterfly earrings in this as well. And wow, this looks so good. So yeah, those are the three outfits and now I think we should call Francesca and catch up with her and see what she thinks of them. 
So I'm here with Francesca now. Hi. Hi. <laughs> so we're going to be going through the three outfits that I styled in episode two and seeing what Francesca thinks about them and where she'd wear them and all good stuff like that. So the first outfit was the yellow cardigan. That's what you were having trouble styling. And then yeah. I said to wear it with the blue jeans. And did I say that like, you wore it with the white shoes and they look really, really good with it. Yeah. What do you think of that outfit? So I really like this outfit. I feel like I could literally wear it anywhere, mm. like any casual occasion it would fit for. Yeah, definitely. I think you could even wear it with the buttons undone too to like switch it up as well. Yeah. I really, yeah. really like that. The second outfit was the blue one. I feel like this is my yeah. favourite. Yeah, I loved it. I like that it's like the monochromatic, like two different shades of blue. It looks so cool. Yeah. I was gonna say again, I feel like I could literally wear that anywhere. Like, mm -hmm. Definitely. Goes for any occasion, so. Yeah, I like it with the shoes too, they're so cool because they've got the blue tick on them as well. Yeah. What kind of jacket would you wear with that, do you think? Um, I don't know because I don't have a blue jacket, so. But I've got like a white, you know, like a tracky jacket. Oh, yeah. Cool. Oh, that would be cool like that. actually with the blue, especially because the shoes are yeah. white as well. That would look yeah. so cool. And yeah. then finally, the top was the green top you're having trouble styling. And I gave you yeah. the butterfly skirt. I love that, especially with the top because it has the green butterflies that it looks yeah. the exact same colour as the top. Yeah, I literally loved that. <laughs> Yeah, it's so cute. I think you could definitely wear that skirt loads of different ways too, with like a big hoodie yeah. or like a top and other stuff. Yeah. Where would you see yeah, yourself wearing it. this one? Um, I feel like this one's maybe a little bit more fancier, like mm. maybe meal out sort of thing. And it would also look really nice on holiday, I think. Yeah, true, with a tan as well. That would look so yeah. cute. And yeah, those were the three outfits. I'm really glad you liked them. I wanna say thank you for sending in all the videos and everything. I loved all the stuff you did and you look great in every single outfit. I'm so happy with how they turned out. Thank you. And yeah, yeah it was amazing catching up with you and I hope you have an amazing day. You too. Bye. <laughs> Bye. So now that we have caught up with Francesca, it's time to find a new person to style. I went through my emails and looked at literally every single application and fashion flop and I found someone that I absolutely love. Her application is so cute and she had so many different fashion flops and I was like, wow, there's some options here. So I chose my favourite one and I literally cannot wait to talk to her. I DM'd her and let her know that I chose her for episode three and she was literally over the moon. She said, oh my god, I'm so excited to be in episode three. And then we organised a time to FaceTime and I literally cannot wait to style her. I think her outfits are gonna be so cute and I just can't wait to chat to her and everything like that. So I think for now, I'll see you guys on Saturday. So it's a couple of days later and today I'm going to be styling Catalina. I'm so excited. I literally cannot wait to talk to her and go through all the things she's having trouble styling and then hopefully turn them into fashion flips. But before I get started, I always like to look at your guys' really cute outfits that you send in. If you guys do want to send in anything, by the way, you can either email them to eviesfashionflip.com or put them on Instagram with the hashtag eviesfashionflip. So you have either of those options. I love seeing your cute outfits. You guys are so fashionable. It makes me feel like a grandma because you guys are so cool and I'm sitting here like not that cool. Oh but first I'm also going to put Catalina's fashion flop on the fashion flop side and then we can now add Francesca's fashion flips to the fashion flip side. Obviously we already have Molly on there from last week's episode. If you guys haven't checked out episode two already make sure to check that out now. Um, but today we're going to be adding our second person that we have styled. Okay so now I have Catalina's fashion flop on this side and then I have Francesca's fashion flips on this side. I think I'm going to start reacting to your guys' outfits. So the first person is called Lauren Williams and she sent me this via email and I saw the leopard print and I was just like, yes, this looks so good. And I'm pretty sure she even has a bit of leopard print in her shoes to tie in with the top, which I think is so cool. I love the bag, I love the jeans, I love the necklace, the sunglasses really pull it together too. And also I love how she has the hair, kind of, she has bangs at the front and she's curled them. She literally looks insane. I'm loving this leopard print moment. Okay, the next person, along with the animal prints theme, is Liv Cashton. And she's going for this cow look, has this little cow kind of milkmaid top on, jewellery to accessorise, a black bag, and then a bandana on her head. And I also love how she's got the bangs out in the front as well. And also, her tattoo is really cool, so 
This girl's just all round cool person. This is really inspiring me though. I feel like I want to do a leopard print or even just an animal print outfit for Catalina. And finally, someone called Poppy May sent in this picture. First off, your hair looks insane. And she has this cardigan on and then the jeans and the little scrunchie. I actually have this cardigan and I'm obsessed with it. It looks so cool. I like how she's layered it with the white top and then accessorized. I think she actually has the same necklace as me, which is the Vivian Westwood one, which looks amazing with this outfit. And yeah, that is everyone that I'm going to be reacting to. I really wish I could react to more but I feel like this episode is already going to be so long because bringing in a new section and it's just long anyways so hopefully you guys enjoyed that and if any of you that I just reacted to watching this hi please send me more of your outfits because you're really really cool but yeah that was so fun and I think now we should get into the next section hello Okay, so now I'm gonna be bringing in a brand new section which I'm so excited about. So basically, this girl called Danielle messaged me and she has her own Depop shop and Instagram, all for her vintage clothes. She was like, I really wanna send you a package for you to unbox in the video. I think it'll be a really cool section. And I was like, I really wanna do that. That's gonna be so fun. So it's gonna be kinda of like a mini vintage haul. I'm gonna be trying on all the pieces and then maybe even picking out some of the pieces to send to Catalina when I start her later. But for now, I think we should open the package because I have it here and I'm literally so excited. I feel like there's so much good stuff in here. She said, hey Evie, hope you like the stuff. I can't wait to see all the pics of you wearing the clothes and the fashion flip. Okay, so, oh my god, I'm so excited. Okay, so the first thing that I got, also, this is like a tiny detail, but I thought this was just so cool. She adds her own little labels to every item and it has her Depop here, which I thought was such a cute touch. But anyway, the first thing I got is this SpongeBob t-shirt and I'm actually obsessed with it. It's so cute. It's like a little baby tee, so it's super tight fitting, but like flattering because it goes just above your belly button. And this is just so cool. I don't know if you guys have seen the picture of Devin Lee Carlson and her boyfriend, Jesse, and they're both in SpongeBob t-shirts and it was just girls. And I was like, I need to live up to this moment, but obviously I don't think I could get Joe to wear a SpongeBob t-shirt and also I just wouldn't be as cool as her anyway. Okay, so the next thing is this little camera skirt it's like the perfect size and length I'm just obsessed with it I love camo at the moment it has diamante detailing on it as well which is just a win-win and I'm obsessed with it I also got this little Alice headband I think that's what they're called I'm not really sure and I feel like this is so cute I don't really have anything like this and I love it it's the perfect size because I've seen some of these and they've been like quite big and chunky and it just doesn't look good on my forehead because my forehead's already massive and then this little vesty top this is like a blue vest with white lace at the front it is just so delicate and pretty, I love it. Then we have this top, which is kind of something that I wouldn't usually wear. It's not really my style, but I'm here for that. I love trying out new styles and stuff. So this is gonna be really cool to try and style to fit like what I usually wear. So it's this top and it has little sequins on it and it's really, really cute. I actually love the coral color of this as well. By the way, all of this is just such good quality. So that's another side note. Then I have this stripey halter neck top which, okay, this looks crazy right now because there's like this big bit of fabric at the front, but it's so cool. And then it has these straps that go around. Wait, yeah, they go around my head like this. So nice, so pretty. And then I have this top, which is Guess Jeans, which is such a cool brand. And it has diamonds on the front. It says Guess Jeans. Once again, I might crop this because, <gasps> this is so freaking cute this is my favorite thing i think i got out of the whole haul because i just love diamantes and i love guests then i got sorry i feel like i'm going through this so quick but i don't want to like drag it out um but i got these little silk red shorts which are going to be perfect for pjs they look so flattering i love how they kind of ruche at the top and then I got this halter neck top as well, which is kind of beachy. I don't normally wear something like this either. I love that this is like taking me out of my comfort zone because I wouldn't usually wear some of these pieces, but this is really cool. And I love the colorway on the t-shirt. I love all the different colors. It may work so well together. And then I also got this little vest. It's kind of a coral and then the yellow trim. This is so pretty. And I just, oh my gosh, I love it. Also, I love the fact it's mesh, which is such a cute little detail. And then finally, actually, okay, I take it back. I think this is my favorite thing. Okay, 
No, I can't say. Literally, all of it's my favorite thing. Um, it's this Juicy Couture cardigan. Are you serious? I've never seen a Juicy Couture cardigan before, and I'm so here for it. You guys know I always wear Juicy. I just love it. It ties at the front like a little ballet. It looks like a little ballerina cardigan, like what I used to wear in ballet when I was like six, which isn't a bad thing because I actually think ballet stuff is so cute. Why am I talking so quickly? She can't breathe. She actually forgot to breathe like five minutes. And then she also sent me some fabrics, which, which I could wear as bandanas or tops. There's just so many options. Oh my gosh. Yeah, if you guys need any cute fabrics, this Depop shop is the place to go. This Ooh, so she sent me some hair clips and a Hello Kitty pencil case. Why do I feel like I had this pencil case when I was younger? And then it just doesn't stop here. She's honestly just gone full out. Sent me another little package, which I'm assuming, oh, oh my gosh, what is this? So, oh my god! She sent me some hairbands, so these are some little leopard ones, which are super, super cute. I love that, and then some neon ones, love those as well. And then just a bunch of, oh my, these scrunchies are so, oh my no stop it she sent me like a denim scrunchie then a zebra scrunchie a bunch of scrunchies oh my gosh i think she hand makes these herself because she has all the different fabrics and then i'm assuming she can actually just make any scrunchies she wants these are so cool i love all the colors Okay, so that is everything from Danielle. Once again, I'll put her Depop on the screen now and leave all of her information down below. I feel like this section was so fun. It was like a mini haul and I'm really, really grateful for her sending this package. I love everything in it. So thank you so much. And I think now we should get into the next section. So before we get to styling, Catalina, you guys sent me in some pieces that you're having trouble styling via the email evie at evie's fashion flip. So I'm going to be looking through those now and telling you how you can style them. So first off, someone called Hannah sent in this denim jacket and I actually have a really similar one here. The first thing that comes to my mind is a double denim look. I'm just obsessed with double denim. Maybe if it's denim jeans or if it's a denim skirt, but make sure it's kind of a similar denim color or it might look a bit off. So if you have a skirt that's a similar denim shade to this, I think definitely pair it with that and then literally any color top. It could be a pink top, a green top, a white top, all of that would look cute. And then for winter, I love denim jackets with a big hoodie underneath that have like a big hood. I think those look so cute, kind of like layering it and then some jeans. And then secondly, a girl called Megan sent me this green skirt and I'm pretty sure in the email she said that it was from Sheen or something like that. And she said she has no idea how to style it. And I think for this one, if you have a green top that's similar to the shade of green on the flowers, pair it with that. Maybe it's a little lace, like, you know the tops that have the lace here, kind of like the lace trim. Even a white or black kind of lace vest would look so cool or a big oversized t-shirt. There's actually loads of options with the skirt. I mean, it looks hard to style first off, but now thinking about it, like even a black oversized t-shirt would look really, really cute with that and then pair it with some white shoes and some sunglasses or something. And then finally, someone called Lola sent me in this top, which is a mesh kind of dragon print with some floral patterns on it. And this... How would you style this? Maybe a black denim skirt or just blue jeans, a white skirt. I don't know, maybe joggers? There's so many things that would look cute with this. Maybe some black joggers or even some black flares, like black juicy couture flare, like velour trousers. I mean, it really depends what you have in your wardrobe, but I definitely think there's loads of options with this. And I know the mesh is kind of, I always buy mesh stuff and I never end up wearing it because of the boob situation. I don't wanna get my nipples out for like the whole entire world. But I think with a little lace bra underneath it would look so cute. And yeah, those are a few things that you guys sent in. I really hope that helped. And like I said, if someone's watching and has a similar item, I hope you can now kind of switch out, or even if you like how you style it already, maybe it's just giving you an extra idea on how you can possibly style it in the future. And now I think we should get into the next section. So I'm with Catalina now. Do you want to tell us a bit about yourself? Yeah, so I'm Catalina and I am from Berkshire, which is just like basically Ascot, Windsor, if you don't know Berkshire really, those are the two main places that people know about Berkshire. Um, I am 19 and this September I will be starting my degree course in musical theatre and I'm so excited about that. I'm going to be training in London for that. That is so cool. Is that what you want to do when you're older? Yeah, I really want to do that when I'm older. Um, I've been 
taking classes, dance classes, singing, acting since I was about four years old. Wow. Um, I started with stagecoach and then I went into like private dance classes and singing classes. So I've kind of just progressed from that up until now and doing it for a degree course. So I'm excited about that. What kind of dance do you do? Or is it all of them? Um, I do quite a lot. I do ballet, contemporary. I did tap, but then I stopped a while ago because um, it clashed with like, other classes. That was the issue with a lot of them. Like They would clash with other things. Um, and then I did point and I did acro for a year to try that out. So, yeah. That is so cool. And yeah, I loved your application. And also, you had so many fashion flops, but I chose one in the end. And I feel like we should just talk about that fashion flop for a bit because it's so cute. And I don't even hate the outfit. The outfit's cute, but you don't like it, do you? No, I was li at the time, I was like, oh my God, it looks so good. And then <laughs> I was literally looking back at my photos and I was like, oh my gosh, what was I thinking? Because I feel like when you look at it for just a couple minutes you're like oh my god it's, it's actually all right but then you look at it for too long and you're like no <laughs> how old were you at the time i think i was like 15 16 i'm not sure it wasn't even that long ago oh my gosh you look yeah. quite young in that though i'm surprised I i've like matured over this like yeah this lockdown. I feel like everyone's changed but your style has definitely changed how would you describe your style now oh yeah my style's definitely changed um I think I take a lot of influence from, I watch a lot of TV mm -hmm. and like Netflix and just YouTube as well, like you and Sophia and Chintzia. Okay. And um, I definitely watch Saffron Barker as well because she's my age and um, she's also come out of her clothing line. So I take a lot of influence from that. What is your ideal style? Um, my ideal style was like very much like ditzy, floral, pastel colours, but that's kind of for spring and summer. For autumn, I very much like the grunge vibe, like vintage grunge vibe. Okay, so cool. Like throughout the seasons, it's yeah. crazy. So yeah, I think we should just get straight into it. So you sent me some pieces in your wardrobe that you're having trouble styling, and we're gonna go through three of them now. So what is the first thing that you're having trouble styling? So the first item was this yellow top. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. It still has the tag in it because I don't know what to put it with. Really? Like, that is that is how bad that I don't know how to style this item. Okay. I just, I do the thing like where I look in a shop, I like it and I buy it and then I'm like... Without thinking wait. about the outfit. Yeah. yeah. And my sister always tells me, what are you going to wear it with though? And I'm like, I don't know, I'll find something when I go home. And then like a month later it's still in my wardrobe with the tag on. So. Do you think it's the colour that you find hard to style or is it the, like, the shape of the top? I feel like it's the shape of the top because the colour's not that bad. Like it can go with like blue, black, white, anything like that. Yeah. But I think also the length, like Okay. I've seen I've seen um on Instagram, like I always see this girl called Lydia. I think her Instagram's like fashion in flux or something. Oh yeah. Um, and she always does like this like top tuck. And I'm like, oh, I could try that, but if I go out and I don't like it, like, yeah. I don't know what I'm going to do. No, but I think you should try that. Yeah, because you don't, do you know how to do it? Well, the thing is that I, I've, I've never really like, tried it properly. Mm -hmm. I, I see her do it in her videos and I'm like, oh, it looks so easy. And then I'll do it and I'll be like, this is not what it's meant to look like. Yeah, no, so what I'm thinking, like, when, because I have an idea on how I want to style that for you. And I definitely think it will look better cropped. So basically what you do is you like, Tie this top's quite tight, so it's hard to do. So you like yeah. tie it there, put a hairband, yeah. tie the hairband around that, and then just like tuck it in like that, and it will make it appear cropped. Okay. So try that. If it doesn't look good, then maybe just like have it down. But I definitely think that will look really cute cropped, and I have yeah. a good idea for that one. And oh, then, okay. what is the next thing? It's the shirt, isn't it? Yeah. So this like vintage shirt. It's basically just mm -hmm. um, a stripey shirt. It's kind of like an off yellow colour. Yeah. But it's quite old because it's actually used to be my granddad's shirt. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. And he was like, oh, I don't fit in it anymore. And they're clearing out and stuff. So I was like, oh, do you know what? That that could look good. Mm -hmm. And I've taken it and I'm like, actually, what will it look good with? Yeah. But that's, just, I think you've probably gathered by now. I'm very like impulsive when I get clothes. Yeah. And then I'm like, what do them? And then the final piece is the corduroy trousers. So do you want to yeah. show those? Yeah. I, I love those. Are they like high-waisted or low-waisted? 
Oh, they're high waisted, and they're from H and M as well. Two of these pieces are from H and M. I literally okay. love H and M clothes, but they're just like corduroy with pockets at the back, mm-hmm. um, and they're high waisted, and the bottoms are like fray. Oh, cool. No, I really yeah. like those. And do you have any white shoes, by the way? Yeah, I do. I have um, just like white pumps, sneakers, stuff. Okay, cool. And then, how do you feel about wearing animal print? Do you normally wear animal print? I actually, right, this is the funny thing. Oh, sorry, that was my phone. Okay. Um, I don't normally wear animal print, mm-hmm. but I will go in a shop and I'll be like, oh my God, do you know what? Something's really drawn me to that leopard print top or like, oh my gosh, that leopard print skirt. Like, I work at New Look mm-hmm. and we have like this massive sale on and there are so many midi skirts left and they're all the leopard print midi skirts and every time I'm like tidying the sales section, I always look at it and I'm like, that's a really nice skirt, but you know what? I can never pull that off. So it's a couple of days later and I thought I'd quickly add this in. Basically, Kathleen had messaged me on Instagram saying that she actually ended up buying the animal print skirt because of this video and it made me so happy and she looks insane in it. So I thought I'd just add this in. So I don't even know why I'm like looking at it like, oh, I'm on it. No, 100%. Because when I first looked, I was looking at the pieces and I was like, I want to do a surprise outfit that's just really out of your comfort zone because I haven't seen you wearing animal print on Instagram. And I was like, if it's not something you'd usually buy, I feel like that's the whole point of this series, like really taking you out of your comfort zone. And if you if you hate it, that's fine. Like, that's the point of it. it you might love it. So I definitely think I want to do something with animal print for a s- complete surprise outfit. Do you have any like big blue, just like normal denim jeans? Uh, yeah, I have. Jeans is like the one thing I'm definitely comfortable with like buying. Okay. I, I literally have normal like skinny jeans, mum jeans. I love mum jeans. Oh mm-hmm. my gosh, love them. Yeah. I just love the way that they make your like figure look as well. Mm-hmm. So, okay, yeah. cool. I'm so excited to style these three outfits. I think they're going to look so good. I just want to say oh. thank you for everything. This has been so nice chatting to you and I can't wait to get styling you with the outfits. Same. I'm so excited. Thank you so much. Yeah. I'll catch you soon. Bye! Bye! <laughs> so now for the section that I absolutely love. This is where I actually style Catalina, go through the different pieces that she's having trouble styling, and actually put together the three outfits and then send them off to her. So I actually cannot wait! Also, I just ate like so many teeth and lip sweets that I literally feel like I'm about to throw up. I forgot how sick they were and I was eating them really nearly like, oh my gosh, and then literally now my stomach feels like it's burning away. <laughs> Oh my gosh, how am I like more hyper from the teeth and lip sweets than I am from coffee? Also, I quickly want to say if you're watching this now and if you want to be styled by me in a future episode, all you have to do is fill out this application form. I'll leave it on the screen now so you can screenshot that or whatever you want to do. I also have it on a highlight on my Instagram so you can get it from there as well. And then email that to me. My email is evie at eviesfashionflip.com and also send me a fashion flop. So that could be a really bad outfit from when you were younger or even from like a couple years ago. It literally could be anything that you look back and you're like, what the f*** was I thinking? What was I wearing? So email those to me. And then also there's so many other sections you guys already know. I leave all the information down below of how you can get involved for each section. But for now, let's get into styling Catalina. Also, Catalina is such a pretty name. I feel like Catalina sounds like a little fairy name. I love it. You know what I'm thinking of? You know what I'm thinking of? Alina! Alina! And the mermaids are like going down the big hole and they're like, Alina! Alina! I have to include that you're gonna think I'm actually crazy, but honestly, I watched that like a few days ago, so it's fresh in my memory. Okay, anyway, so the first thing she was having trouble styling was the yellow crop top. She said it was a bit long and it's kind of an awkward length, so I told her to do the tie up trick where you kind of fold up your t shirt and then tie it at the back to make it look cropped. And then I think for that one, I'm gonna send her a black skirt. So in the past two episodes of Fashion Flip, I've gone online and kind of found pieces online, but this time, because I showed you guys stuff from Danielle's Depop earlier on, I'm actually gonna be including a few pieces from that and, and then also some stuff from my wardrobe or that I've picked up in the past couple weeks that I think would be perfect for Catalina. So like I said, black skirt on Danielle's Depop, I found this one and I think this would be absolutely perfect. It's the right waist measurement and everything and I love the detailing on the back. I think it's just such a cute little skirt and especially when the top is folded up and it's all cropped and everything, it's going to look so nice. This is such a good quality skirt. It's super stretchy and it feels really comfy. Yellow, I love black and yellow together and then if she pairs it with some jewellery, maybe some big hoops or just something. I'm thinking what shoes? Maybe black shoes? I'm gonna put all of her stuff into this bag ready to ship and send to her. I'm also gonna send her some little butterfly earrings to go along with that outfit. I think these will look super cute and be the perfect finishing touch. And then she has the yellow shirt and the brown corduroy trousers. And when I saw these, I was like, 
together? They would work together, I don't know. But I was initially thinking this top, which is from Danielle's Depop, but now after calling Catalina, I'm not sure if this top is the right one for her because she said that she didn't like the yellow top because of the awkward length, and this is like the exact same length as the yellow one. So I was looking on my Instagram and I was like, what white tops do I have that I think would be perfect for this? And then I came across my photo that I posted recently and I was like, this is perfect so i bought her another one of the tops the exact same one that i had i think this is going to fit her perfectly it's going to look so cute let me just show you real quick this top is this is so cute i literally think i think this is going to be absolutely perfect add this to the bag as well and then i was thinking because now i'm saying scrap the shirt I need to do a surprise outfit, of course. And I kind of like this. I want to bring this back in future episodes because this is fun. I am most excited for this outfit. So basically, I have this top from Danielle's Depop. And you know how I was talking to her about wearing leopard? I literally think this will look insane on her. Obviously, the length is not perfect for what she wants. But even like tying it at the front would look so cute. Um, I'll send her a little video so she knows how to tie it and everything like how I'm envisioning it But I definitely think either tie it at the front or tie it at the back and this will look oh my gosh It's from new look. That's where she works, isn't it? Here we go a little bit of a new look promo <laughs> But yeah, oh my gosh, this is gonna look so good on her especially the pink just gonna compliment her so much and then just in case she doesn't like that because it is a bit out of her comfort zone i also am going to give her this little orange top which is from my wardrobe um i've never worn this before but it's really really cute oh my gosh my hair's getting stuck um to wear instead of that top if she doesn't like it or either one. Oh yeah i forgot to say what she's pairing that with so i asked her if she had big baggy denim jeans and she said that she had mum jeans and other jeans as well that were that color so i think she should definitely pair these with the baggiest jeans that she has um, because I love tight tops and then kind of baggier jeans. I think it kind of looks really nice and like balanced out and everything. So I'm going to add this into the bag as well. And hopefully those outfits are really cute. I feel like in every episode I end up getting more and more clothes. Because I'm just like, I want the outfits to be so cute. But yeah, I'm going to send that off to Catalina today. And then in episode four, oh my gosh, we're on episode four now. In episode four, you'll see Catalina open the package, try everything on, you'll see the full outfits, and then me reacting to it. And then we will pick someone else, and I'll be styling a brand new person. So that is everything for this video. I feel like every week I want to try and switch it up and add new sections, do different things, because I don't want you guys to get bored of the format or anything. So if you guys do have any ideas of other sections to do in this series, let me know in the comments below. Or if I don't have comments, you can email me at evie at eviesfashionflip.com or even DM me on Instagram. And yeah, once again, I'll put the form on the screen now for you to screenshot if you want to get involved and be fully styled by me and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel turn on post notifications by clicking the bell so you don't miss out on episode 4 and, and also don't forget to follow me on my Instagram because every week I do a different IGTV going alongside this video so for this one it's me trying on all of Danielle's stuff and doing a little try on haul over on there and then also on my TikTok too because I do loads of fashion content over there and yeah for now I'll see you guys in my next video bye oh baby I love your madness it's so incredibly beautiful oh.